it's Josh from Collection DX, and I have here for you another review. This is uh, a building toy, but it's a robot, so we like robots. It's remote control. It's uh, another, you know, I don't know this company, Xmork. It's 695 pieces. It is remote control. It has, I don't know, something gravity sensing. Uh, it works, it is an app that it can work with. Um, it looks like there is, uh, does need some AAA batteries, but uh, for the remote, and there is like a lithium battery in the motor, more than likely. Let's take a look and see what is going on here. Links to purchase this are available in the description. And what do we got here? We got, I guess that's all the battery parts, numbered baggies, and we got a book we have oh stickers we like stickers um i totally oh all right for english version of the app so there is uh english instructions in here because <laughs> i uh, there we go right i was a little nervous there for a minute i'm like ah, i don't speak chinese uh but yes there is english instructions in the app we're gonna get to work and you get your usual time lapse and then we'll be back to talk about it Here's the finished model. It took me three and a half hours to put together, which wasn't too bad. It is entirely made out of Technic style pieces, so it's, it's a very much a mechanical build here. With the core being this, you can see the gray motor in here, and it kind of runs the full height. It's a big motor block, and it has uh, uh, gears at the, I don't, I don't say different motors, but there's two points of connection at the bottom and one at the top. And through this intricate uh, gearing system, you can control different power functions of the robot. It can turn, go forward, backwards, turn its head. These things rotate. We'll look at that in a minute. Um, a lot of stickers to put on. All of these are stickers. All these panels are stickers, but they're nice. They don't make a lot of sense. They just say sort of mechanical and clockwork, which is par for the course for these type of, you know, not Lego sets. But... It was an interesting and attractive build. Uh, I think for me, the real value is that the, there's a lot of really great parts in here, especially this motor. Uh, the motor is uh, controlled via uh, controller or Bluetooth, and it's a rechargeable lithium battery. So you have a little USB connector here that you can plug into the side, and the indicator light of, uh, is in, there's a light in here to indicate your sort of charging status. So. It's, it's, it, that's really cool. And it holds a good charge and it just sort of plugs in, um, that hole right there on the side. But there are the other ports in here that I'm sure you can do a lot of other things with. So again, like the, yes, you can build a cool model, but you get a really nice motor out of this in the process too. And a remote that can be, you know, can be controlled with an app or this. Now I didn't install the app. I'm not a big fan of installing random apps from foreign countries onto my cell phone, but that's great because it comes with the remote control. So you don't have to, if you don't want to. The benefits of having the app is there is some programmable stuff in there. So if you could like, you could plot a course and then have it execute that course and that's, that's fine. I'll show you the remote here. This is your basic remote you have, and it has, you know, all kinds of bricks, holes and things on it. And you have your uh, forward, back, left, right, rotates the head. These are interesting because the, this model has three different ways you can build it. And as such, the model will be oriented differently. So 
these buttons allow you to change the orientation of the way the controls work. So let's fire this up with the, you turn it on here and you can see the red light is on and now, and then forward. Now notice uh, backwards, forward, so up is forward, but if I hit the button, up is backwards. Hit the button again, up is forward. So you get how that, that works. And then we have left and right features that turn the arms Turning. So uh, that's really cool. It's just a, a real, it was a really nice build. There are more models that you can build. As I said, in this set, you can, you know, build this sort of bird thing and this uh, this tank looking thing. When they, and they both look great, but they do require a full teardown of this to build it. And I just don't have 12 hours to do it. And I'm very happy with this design. So I uh, am just going to do that. I will also talk about, I'll show you the, the motor here. So you can see kind of the the layout of the motor here so you can see you have uh in the back you have um you know th there's one of these on either side there's one of that on either side and it tells you all kinds of things about the rechargeable battery in there uh the battery needs to be charged but holds a charge really well the remote requires two AAA batteries so another thing about this build is that there are a lot of extra parts, uh, I guess, because you, you know, they're used in the other forms of the build, right? So you have all the parts between the extra... I put this baggie together, by the way. Um, you have all the parts to build all three modes. Just if you choose one, expect to have leftover parts. It's not like 100% of the parts are used in all three builds. But I'll let you dis discover that. And this thing right now, uh, as of... Uh, like April 1st of um, 2024, $40. So you get, you know, s almost 700 parts, uh, a wireless uh, three-way motor with a remote control and app compatibility, stickers, and a three-mode robot. That's a good deal. Uh, a list price is like 60 and even 60 bucks. I think it's a good deal. But um, I like it a lot, and I think uh, it is... Definitely one of the more uh, on-topic builds that <laughs> that I've done in a, in a bit, you know. It's a cool thing. I think it's cool. Oh, I had fun with this. Uh, this is going to be fun to play with. Uh, I enjoyed it. Again, uh, so this came to me from uh, Hui Niu, the... the brick people, but it's not labeled who you know, it's labeled this, um, Xmork. Xmork? I don't know. The names get all over the place, but use the link in the description, uh, to get yours. And, uh, I think you'll enjoy building it. Everything was high quality, no missing parts, stickers are good, no real complaints. Uh, I just, uh, you know, had a good time building this and, uh, hopefully you will uh, enjoy yours. So this is Josh from Collection DX. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.